Welcome everybody to the Trish Breen Show. Tonight we've got a big reveal and we're talking to you about boosters. What? What do you mean booster? Did you get your booster? Are you doing your booster? The natural energy booster that we want to talk about with you today. That's right. We're going to be talking about the mind-body booster. Mm, The energy. The energy of boosting your life force. But we're going to start with a little bit of an interview with Sabrina. Oh, I did. Sabrina, I want to... Are you okay? Yes. Are you okay if I ask you a question? About your journey over the last couple of weeks, because I know you went through some stuff, and we weren't going to share it with the community until you felt that you wanted to, and there's a reason you didn't want to share it, Mm -hmm. and then I think tonight is a great night to share it, and I've already asked her, and she said, oh, okay. Like 10 minutes ago, are you okay? Okay, all right, let's do it. So, Sabrina, you you were um, exposed at a party after we came back from Mexico. Yeah, it wasn't a party, but it was well, a, a dinner. dinner. Yeah. An evening dinner. Felt party-ish. You were exposed. You got a text the next day from someone. Do you want to kind of take us yeah. from there? Yeah. So we traveled to Mexico and back totally safe. And we even came back a few hours early to attend dinner with some friends that we hadn't seen for a while who had invited a few more friends. It was really awesome. Amazing people. Beautiful. Beautiful night. And there was this one fella, and he and I had uh, communicated for a couple of years, and he had sent me a book. And there was, this is some quality about him that I, that I really adore. Great, He's like so likable and guy. younger. And so when I saw him, you know, we, we hugged each other and, and, and caught up. And he said, did you have a chance to read the book I sent you? And he was so excited because we had talked, he really adored our relationship. And when he and I had talked about relationships, and so he was so excited to show me that he had, he had met someone mm. and that his lady friend lived in Canada and he was going to fly out to see her in this a couple is, of days to spend Christmas with her. Right. And so that was a really big deal. And so great evening. And the next morning he texted and he said, I, I, really hate sending this text, but I just went to get my COVID test before, so I could fly to go see my girlfriend and my parents live in the same town and I'm COVID positive. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, all right. And I, I, I was, I was totally fine. I was just like, okay, that's bad. <laughs> and I'm like, do you have symptoms? And he said, no. And then the next day he texted and he said, yeah, I I have some symptoms. But another person that was at the dinner also texted the next day and said... Do you know whether or not this person had had the jab? Yes. He said, I don't understand it. I'm only... He's I'm in my 30s. I've been double vaccinated and I had the booster. I don't know how I... You know, and then I had this. So then the next day, someone else that was at the dinner reached out and said, I'm vaccinated and I've had the booster and I'm really sick. And he caught it. So I just started being like, uh, trying to be ahead of the game. And we got all these home tests. And I did a home test one day and I was fine. And I did a home test the next day and I was fine. And I did a home test within like 12 more hours because by this time it's a Saturday morning before Christmas, like a week before Christmas. And I was just feeling a little bit fatigued and just not quite 100%. And I was still, my home tests were negative, negative, negative. But I felt like as a responsible, like I don't want to be out and about if, if I'm a spreader of something, you know, that just feels really horrible. So we went to a lab and I thought, and I did the, the PCR test. Do I have the flu or COVID or respiratory? Like, just give me the whole shebang. And they came back and said I, I was COVID positive. Can I inject a little something? Yeah. So just a disclaimer, we are not for or against anything or how someone wants to take care of their health. Mm-hmm. Well, we are actually for one thing in particular, which is no matter what lane you're in, what decision you make about what you do for your body, also do everything you can to naturally boost your immune system and that's really where we're going to take this yeah so either side of the lane that you're on great you've got to go with what feels right to you Mm -hmm. so never a judgment here at satori just please listen to the rest of what's important to do for you yeah 
So that Saturday morning, no, it was like, I actually, we taught our workout and then I drove to the lab to get the test. And then I think we had another training that afternoon. Yes, we did. We had the first um, Black Belt Circle Zoom call. Mm -hmm. So I had to run to the lab between that and that. And then right after the Black Belt Circle Zoom call, the lab told me I was positive. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to be... There, no Christmas shopping for me this year. I'm going to be, I'm going to quarantine Stay at home. and just kind of see what happens. And the only day that I missed of teaching, like I like, I teach a movement class almost every morning. I did skip that Sunday, but that's because I had a seven hour all day Zoom VIP workshop called Start Teaching Today that I know a lot of you attended. That was like my main COVID day. <laughs> Let me just um, say, as an outside observer and a full participant in the healing journey, Sabrina was amazing. Her energy levels were incredible. She was able to take care of business. And I don't mean just the business of our business, but her family running safe errands in the car with me, picking things up, taking care of everything. It was amazing to see her energy levels, her resiliency, her ability to move through this. And now we know people right now who are very sick, whether they're vaccinated or not, or even with the booster, some in the ICU. They're stage five here in Austin right now. Yeah. This is something important for us to continue 30% of the people in Austin about. have COVID right now. You would never have known that Sabrina, her, her system was dealing with this. But there's a reason yeah. that you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to get to. Yeah. Now, I do want to just be, you know, totally transparent. Every day, I wanted a nap for Which at least a week. Which is unusual for Sabrina. I, I was like, I felt like I, I want a nap. And I napped for a half hour to an hour every day. And there were two times that I had a fever of about 100 for like three hours, two different times. And one night, my legs ached in a way like so weird. I have never experienced anything like that. My knees and my calves, it was almost like Charlie horses. So I, I know the symptoms with COVID are, are very strange, but at the same time that I got it, so many of my close friends and family also had it. So from Tristan going through what we went through with his mother and with him, we had done so much research about br breath work and breathing techniques, which um, we're going to tell you more about what we're going to, we're doing a five day energy detox event and we're going to be sharing a lot of these breath work techniques that help you stay strong so that if you get the virus or when you get the virus, because uh, pandemic sort of the definition of it is at some point, almost everyone's going to get it. I just put a link on the screen for you guys. You can Please jot that down. stay strong and breathe and also uh, recuperate as quickly as possible. But what was really awesome was I was doing so much research for myself with the vitamin D and the vitamin C and the zinc that I was able to um, speak to a lot of doctors and then keep passing that information along. And then what was really amazing is um, other people had COVID that were super close to in my house. And I needed to be the, we needed to be the caretaker. We needed to be the strong ones um, at the time the other people were were not well and we were able to do that and I think that's that's my big victory is I so want to be able to help and I know that the energy work and the movement work that I do m helped me to be strong during a time that my immune system was fighting back and I did love myself I didn't wear myself out I let myself sleep I took my vitamins but I was able to caretake and I was able to keep my smarts about me and help some people who were very high risk pass through it and now they're doing okay. When it's truly amazing to witness somebody in their 50s who is able to handle so much because of the lifestyle. And so we're all about the lifestyle and helping encourage, like if, if there's anything being shared right now, it's we're here to motivate, inspire, and encourage people to take care of their body temple and their immune system through things like Qigong meditation. Now, Sabrina and I had been meditating quite a bit the previous week, 
when we went to Cancun, we took some deep dive meditation time. And the studies are out there, y'all. There are tons and tons. There's over 500 studies in PubMed about Qigong, meditation, Tai Chi, at its power to boost your immune system. Mm -hmm. Let me me just um, say... Go ahead, take over. No, I don't want to take over. I just want to say that doesn't mean that we don't wear masks when we're in um, crowded public situations, right? Just like when we would enter into a restaurant, you wear a mask. When you sit at the table, you take it off. We're not saying we don't do that. We totally want to respect everyone's choice and give everyone the space and the room. But we're saying in addition to that, what can you do to get your immune system as strong as possible? Yeah, we don't think that you should be um, negligent ever. You should do everything you can to be psychologically respectful as well as physically respectful, biologically respectful to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like if you're stressing out and worrying all the time, you're beating up your immune system. If you're not moving enough, you're not stimulating your lymphatic system. The only way to help your body cleanse out Mm -hmm. not only toxins but viruses is to have a healthy lymphatic flow. And you can only get that through movement and good breathing. So the beauty of the energy arts is apparent, I think, in just what we're our own best case study, and so are our students. I was around quite a few people in my household who were very uh, compromised. Now, my body didn't have anything. I was eating from the same dishes and you know, not like being stupid, not trying to be Superman. Well, there's that time mindful, you don't know. Washing things, doing everything. But, you know, I had experienced this last year. In August. And because of that, and some of you saw my journey, I went deeper into this work. I went deeper into what do I do to fortify this body? Because I know, intuitively, I have known, and maybe you have too, that this isn't over. As much Mm -hmm. as we've wanted this to be over, I knew it. I just felt it that there's going to be cycles of this. And there are even more variants coming out today. Different things coming, being exposed and and talked about in France. There's there's going to be more churn and burn. So don't stop. Don't lax. Uh, With or without those shots that people are getting that... It's so hit and miss Yeah, I, is I the problem. I think what we're saying is some people think like, oh, I got vaccinated. I'm I'm free. No, that's like you did something that's great. to help your immune system. Great. And what else can you do? Because there's a whole lot of vaccinated people and vaccinated people with the booster who are very sick right now. And several of them were in our household. It's crazy town. That's the point. It's crazy town. So do everything that you can to be mentally, emotionally, and physically resilient. Yeah. And the most powerful thing that we know and what we're doing, and we're meditating, we're moving, we're doing our Qigong. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to invite everyone watching this show to a full week of training, totally free, where we'll show you what we're up to and what we've been doing. So this Mm -hmm. is the link. And you may, you certainly can go here now and you can sign up so that you don't miss any of the pre-training. It starts uh, January 18th. We have a free course that we want to give everyone. And please share this with your friends and family. Yeah. It's a Qigong for beginners. It will teach you the foundation of our system, what we do, what we live for. The reason that there is a resilience in in the body and the Mm -hmm. tissues and the mind. And it gets you in the right heart space. And Mm -hmm. let's just real quick talk about why this is so important. Because your emotions are playing a humongous role in your immune system Mm -hmm. strength. Yeah. When you are sad, when you are scared, your body shuts down and dampens that internal fighting system. But when you are tapped in and you are in flow and you are in gratitude, even with all the drama around you, finding ways and things to be appreciative for, you're strengthening your immune system. It's so important. Yeah. And that was a lot of the work that I was doing personally when I had COVID a few weeks ago. And one of the reasons that that I chose and I asked Tristan to 
let me not share it publicly with anyone outside of our house household because I didn't want any energy of worry. Right. And I, I didn't, I knew that if I was asked a lot of questions that that could pull me that way. Mm -hmm. And I knew that the strongest thing I could do for my immune system is to keep moving and keep laughing and keep serving. Yes. And get enough sleep. Yes. And meditate. Now I'm going to give you just a, a few details of things that happened that I think are fascinating. So there is a monoclonal antibody IV drip that you can get if when you first get COVID. And it's amazing because it surrounds the virus and doesn't let it replicate. But every time there's a new variant, the monoclonal antibody needs to change. And with Omicron, which they think that's what our family got. The latest. It, um, well, not it, the latest, it was, anymore. I can't remember what it is, but it starts with an S and Texas didn't have much of it, but my dad got on the list. He's 83 and they actually, the, the nurses, uh, a crew of three nurses came to our house to give it to him. Sabrina organized all of this, by the way. Yeah. In the middle of her and, experience. Um, so I was, I was so happy that he could get that because he had such bad, uh, fever and cough and confusion but I was thrilled that the nurses said, you need to get up and walk and you need to walk every day and you need to move your body. And so even though there was um, confusion because of the fever and everything, and even if he maybe had to use the walker, he walked up and down the hall, just like he was told to get the energy moving. And we made sure we were laughing and, and speaking positively and not focusing on the gloom and doom. Totally. And and then there, there weren't any more. And so everybody else just had to be like, well, okay. And so then we studied vitamin C and vitamin D and zinc and just doing whatever you can to boost the immune system, but then trying to stay light about it and trying to stay playful about it. And that's a challenge when you don't practice that daily in times of crisis, it's very difficult to sleep soundly and to not worry right? When you have experienced, you have to practice being outside of your anxiety so that when it's peaking, that's where you can live. And, and that's why I didn't say anything to anyone because I was already dealing with what could have been a lot of guilt because I was testing negative and I was in the house and I'm sure I'm the one that gave it, you know, to everybody, which just so hurts my heart. Mm. But yeah, you know, I kept thinking, oh my gosh, isn't, I, I just tried to reframe oh, we're going to have such strong antibodies now. Everybody's going to be so much stronger now. We're going through this together and trying to really just stay playful. I remember I saw on the news just the other day, it was a, because I watched those great shows like about brain science. It's amazing <laughs> and, stuff. And this show was all about laughter. It was actually after they were talking about Betty White and they were saying that, playfulness and laughter for no reason at all is like the brain going to the gym, how it revives it and how it thrives on that and how much it needs that, that playful disconnect from all of, of the thoughts that we have. So that's what I was doing for myself. And then fortunately I had that long day of coaching. And so that was such a gift for me because it's like, oh, I'm not going to sit here and freak out and worry. You didn't. I'm going to sit here amazing. and serve. Now, I think on the lunch break, I took a nap, <laughs> right? Right outside the I'm door. I'm just so grateful right. that she didn't get super beat up by this and end up in a hospital like other people that we know or end up really, really sick or not able to do the things that she loves, like moving and taking care of her family. It was a beautiful thing to witness. She handled it way better than I did when, when I received this gift. Um, maybe it was different. Strain yeah, doesn't different matter. Strain. No judgment. No, she's... I'm, I, we're not trying to make any claims. We're just saying through our own life experience, this is... We're sharing. We're reporting to you what's going on, what yeah. we're finding. Yeah. And I, what I saw, what I witnessed was incredible. I mean, almost like it's it's like superpowers that I'm just blown away. I'm literally blown away on how you handled that. I mean, yeah, you took a couple of naps, you know, <laughs> but you were amazing. Your mm -hmm. mood never dropped. You you stayed true to your practice. Because I know that that is my immune system. I have to stay up 
you you were absolutely mm-hmm. uh, a perfect yeah. role model of how to go Thank through you. a heavy crisis situation. Well, on the uh, Christmas day is when um, my mom, I feel like, was probably her toughest day. And she had been told by her doctor, you cannot catch COVID. You won't survive because you have asthma. And then it's like, oh, she she has COVID um, because she was having all the symptoms. When I got her to the doctor, and we have a, a, a oxygen reader on the finger, and her oxygen was dropping into the 80s. Which and, is not great. And the doctor, uh, I took her to a clinic on the 26th. And they said, you know, maybe you should go in the hospital. And we were like, if, if at all possible, we would prefer not because then we couldn't see her. And, and Tristan um, helped her with breathing exercises. And, 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 and we used the nebulizer. And we used the nebulizer. But within a minute or two, we could get her oxygen back up in the 90s. And so it became part of the routine to focus on the, the type of breathing that would raise the oxygen level. And it, it would come in waves. There were moments that were fine, but then there were moments that the breathwork techniques were needed. And I was there and Tristan was there and she learned what to do. And, and that was super helpful. Like if somebody didn't have that and didn't have like a, a coach or someone that's going to help you with your breathwork or someone that didn't teach you, I'm not sure what would have happened in those in those moments. Yeah. I just want to say please don't worry. She's doing she's doing great. She actually it's been 13 days and she left the house today for the first time. We received phone calls uh, just from one couple that uh, one was a nurse, used to be a nurse and another one um, just beautiful souls who are, are are of service and what I was so grateful was that they would call and check in on us. And so this is our call to check in on you. We're sharing the story because we don't want you to freak out if and when you go through something like this and know that we have a community here of very intelligent people with experiences that can help you. We had people in our live classes today, a couple that were in hospital saying, I'm so grateful I could come to a class like this and do the breathing exercises. It's so beautiful to have this community yep. and to have these experiences and these outcomes mm-hmm. because sometimes you just need a little bit of hope. Yep. You just need a little bit of information that lets you know, okay, I can do this. I can get through this. It's going to be all right. And that immediately helps your immune system. Just yep. knowing that. We told you this story to boost your immune system. Yep. We literally... I wanted her to share this because I wanted you to be inspired and empowered and also to share forward your experiences of being strong. And people at risk. And going through. 80-year-olds with asthma, 80-year-olds with diabetes, um, people in their 60s that are obese. Yeah. Like, that's what we were dealing with. And even today, like right before the show, I'm having people reach out to me that you you would know these people you would recognize their names you know them as personal growth leaders reaching out to us hey what did you do for this what did you do for that and it's kind of it feels really good to be able to like of course you don't want to go through something but like with everything in our lives when you go through something you may have learned a lot of stuff that then you can share and help a lot of people. And that's what it's felt like recently. I feel like how are so many people reaching out to us right now asking, what were you doing? What can I do? What's your opinion of this? And I actually am really loving it because it feels like the reason we were talking about the show being the booster. It, to me, yes, do whatever that you want to do and do what your doctors tell you. But in addition to that, Let's like really boost the immune system. Let's boost, you know, so that it isn't a a pandemic of the unhealthy, right? Let's make sure we're as healthy as we can be so that no matter what we come into contact with, you know, we have our our fighting gear on. We're Mm. the strongest that we can be and we can help others who might not be as strong. Because that's, I think that's what, what started out me feeling so guilty. Like, did I bring... Yeah, if you can just hear that, like, 
you don't know you have something like that guy didn't know he had it and he gave it to me and he gave it to somebody else and that might happen to you and and you don't know and then it's you like can't you guilt just, yourself down you feel so bad but then what what can you do from there what cuz that that's not empower, it's not empowering it just it depletes more of your energy and makes you weaker and compromises your immune system even more mm -hmm. the way that you shift focus and we shared about this in depth in our class on Tuesday which is you only have X amount of energy. When you get information, you realize something and you start to go down a negative path where well, you're spending your energy on that negativity. So better to look at what the mistake is, pull yourself back into the moment and then go, okay, this is the direction. I'm going pure positive. I'm going pure focus mm -hmm. on healing, yeah. pure focus on what yeah. is good, pure focus on what is the next best move. Mm -hmm. And you do that and only that and you stop leaking your life force out into the other path. I want to yeah. say... Uh, the, I'm closing, and Sabrina may have one more thing she wants to share, but those of you who are uh, teachers or coaches, whether you're certified by us in Qigong or energy arts, or that's just what's in your, in your life path, please realize the power and the gift of what you teach. It doesn't matter if it's Reiki or Tai Chi or yoga or meditation or neuro coaching, whatever you do, People need to hear your stories. They need to hear about your students, your clients. They need the tools. I'm blown away how many people don't know these tools. Mm -hmm. And it's why we do our energy expansion challenge, our detox and reboot challenge. Here's the link again for those mm -hmm. of you who'd like to share this and attend. People need to know what you know. Yeah. And come to this event and learn more things. We're going to show you some really amazing techniques We'd love for you to practice them, feel amazing, get super strong. 2022 is just starting. We've got an interesting road ahead, but we can do this. We can mm -hmm. navigate this beautifully together, and we can be super boosted by these energy arts. <laughs> so let's do this. Yeah, and we love sharing all the things, right? All the things that we can teach. But we, we did do this one other thing that I just want to say is that um, I had someone come to the house and we all did an, an IV of vitamin C, B, zinc, zinc, zinc mm. and I got a vitamin B shot into bum. Into bud. <laughs> right? So yeah, I was just trying to like, what can I do to help my body be as strong as it can be and not get caught in the fear cycle? Because we were talking about this today. Is the anxiety over what's happening in the world right now hurting people almost as much as as the as the virus itself like the anxiety the lack of sleep the worry the sadness like that alone is just depleting people's immune system and it really doesn't take that much to to shift it over you just need to know kind of some things to do so that when the brain starts going blah 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 blah, blah you mm -mm. Oh, no, no. You, did. oh, no, you didn't. I'm going to do this and I have this breathing technique and I have this Qigong move and I'm going to do this. And, you know, I got to be a student of our Life Force Mastery Dojo, show up to the classes, do, do the work to the best that you can. We always say, you don't have to go 100%, do whatever you can do and to apply everything that we teach and then to, to pass that forward. It was a, it's been a really, really beautiful experience. Um, and, and, that, and then that's crazy to say because I did have to face just like everyone would. You're you, strong like bull. Strong like bull. <laughs> you get that lab test and it says positive and you're like, what's going to happen? Like yeah. that fear. And you need to have something that you go to in that moment so that Gotta it's just like, what do they say? Like the wise person, just information. It's like, ah, so. Is that so? Is that so? Okay, let me make the highest choices that I can. And I love this community so much because I was interacting with everyone, even though I wasn't telling the story. I didn't feel like I was keeping a secret, but I was fed by the community and the support and the love and the enthusiasm and hearing how everyone else was benefiting from the trainings that fed me. Mm. And, and you can do that through osmosis. When, when you read in the chat or you hear someone else talking about how they have been um, 
cured or elevated or this new insight through through the energetic osmosis, you can kind of take that. And it sort of, to me, fuels my own experience of that, my own expression of that. And that's what I feel like was happening because it was crazy how many emails and messages we started getting about, I have COVID, what should so I do? So many. It was insane. So many. <laughs> like we mentioned earlier, if you didn't hear, our, our local area is in what's called stage five. 30% of people have COVID right now in Austin. So it's spiking like crazy. But you know what? All systems go here at Satori Central. Yeah. And we're here for you guys. And please join us in this energy event. It's going to be incredible. It really this this particular energy event. Pretty they're fired they're up all about special, it. but we're so excited with some of uh, what we're going to show you to boost the immune system, but also to strengthen and stretch the lungs. But the overall fitness, like day five, is going to be really spectacular. All of it. We're we're continuing to grow <laughs> and expand. We've been learning stuff. We're going to share with you guys. But please, all right, like. Everyone, everyone that you love, um, even if you don't love them, um, share, share that link with them. And so they can have this free information because it will really help everyone, it's young or old. Yeah. Yeah. It's, this is for everyone. Yeah. All ages, all shapes, all sizes, <laughs> all, all genders. <laughs> Everybody can benefit. Hey, you guys, thank you for all the love and the shares that came in the chat tonight. We just really wanted to get this message and this story out, and we've been reading every single one as we go through. And of course, as you know, we're always on our devices, so we'll be checking in later and love it, <laughs> loving on you. I saw all the hearts pouring in and the oh. laughs pouring in and just reading all the joy and the love from you guys. It's, it's, we feel so loved. And on that note, little Calypso, baby. Keep your immune system strong, y'all. And Tristan was a champion here for my family. Do what I can do. <laughs> All right. It was a rough week. <laughs> here we are, still rocking, still breathing, still loving. I know. <laughs> <laughs>